Hello, an emergency broadcast for Ken Livingstone. Hitler was a Zionist. That's right, Ken Livingstone has implied that Hitler himself was up for creating a Jewish state. Hitler, before we pick apart that hilarious shite, a bit of housekeeping. If you have a problem with something Israel is doing, is treating Palestinians, settling on their land, and you say something about it with passion, doesn't make you anti-Semitic. You can have a problem with Robert Mugabe being a fascist arsehole. Doesn't make you a racist. If you don't like someone pushing someone else around, it just makes you someone that doesn't like bullying. No one should tell you being racist just because you're expressing your opinion. Unless you're wearing a white hood and burning a cross, in which case you probably are being racist. I don't agree with that. Shut up. Donald Trump. I think we should be allowed to wear white hoods. I think we should all wear white hoods on the Mexican border. That's an example of actual racism. Kilimanjaro isn't a racist or an anti-Semite. He's just a fucking idiot. As a general rule, not just in politics, in everyday life, do not bring in Hitler. He works about as well as Chairman Mao or Ted Bundy, if you want to get a point across. Sorry I was late back from the pub, love. Do you know what I mean? I'm a lad, I get carried away. It's like when Ted Bundy had a bit of a party underneath his house. Gary, that's really offensive. It's not just silly what Ken Livingston said, but Hitler was into creating a Jewish state. Yeah, it is true. I am misunderstood. As well as being a very accomplished watercolorist, I was also extremely in favor of the Jews having a small transition into a comfortable homeland. Hey man, I'm all about everyone having having a good time. It is 1933 after all. Come to my party. <laughs> I'm no historical scholar, but as an everyday twat on the street, this is my understanding. I don't think Hitler liked the Jews very much. I would like it if you would leave instantly. He couldn't give a fuck where they went. They could have gone to South End for all he gave a shit. Yeah, but actually, if you look at the history, Russell, in 1933, he did do a deal enabling the Jews to leave for British Palestine. Yeah, with none of their possessions. If it was 1933, would you trust Hitler if he said, I tell you what, if you all go and leave to your nice Jewish homeland and I'll just keep all of your property here. It'll be in perfectly safe hands. Himmler, stop touching my precious object. There's no anti-Semitism in what he said. Just freaking idiocy. It's Ken trying to be Ken to get a bit of press. Why don't you just do Torso of the Week, Ken? This week I will be getting my bell end out in Cosmo. I will be the naked centrefold and on the end of my helmet I've drawn a swash sticker. What? What? I like the press. But the real tragedy is this. Why a lot of jumped up pricks like me obsess about what Ken Livingston has and hasn't said. Boris and David have capitalised on it. Boris has been all over the media today. Yes, if you look at it, the Labour Party are racist bigots. It's a sign of anti-Semitism. I personally saw Jeremy Corbyn marching with his hand aloft this morning whilst listening to Wagner and creating a master race of gerbils in his kitchen. That's right, while the world's media goes bellend crazy for something a doddery old lefty twat accidentally said while he was getting bullied by another MP on the stairs at school. Cameron and Boris can now shut their steelworks, carry on with their austerity, and most importantly of all, carry on fucking up Syria. Just remember Ken Livingston, no matter how much you're having a meltdown, never ever use Hitler to try and win an argument. Right, I've been in this easy jet boarding queue for 20 minutes and you're telling me I don't have speedy boarding? I need to be in Warsaw by midday. It reminds me of the time Hitler entered Poland. No, Ken! No!